this project is going to show you how to make a, um, a brooch that's just a little bit different. Um, so we've got an LED in the centre and we're going to use um, a magnet switch so that um, when I attach the magnet to the switch the LED starts to work. And this particular LED is a, um, a flashing yellow LED. The brooch can be used on a variety of different garments um, and the good thing is that because it's got no clips um, or pins on the back it's the, uh, the fabric's not going to get damaged. So what we would do is to, to put the, uh, the magnet behind our fabric and then matching um, the magnetic switch up to the magnet we'll then switch it on. You can either make a little pocket um, for the magnet to sit inside um, or as on this one it just, just sits on the back um, uh, and, and, and holds itself in place. Because the flower area is quite small, um, we're using a miniature cell holder rather than one of the, the larger cell holders um, to, to create the circuit with. So here's our miniature cell holder. We've got our um, flashing yellow LED here and this is the magnet switch. And the magnet switch is um, uh, attached into one side of the circuit. Um, so just on this side here and the other side is just done as normal. And here are the things that you're going to need. Um, so we've got our, our flower here. Um, we're also going to need the miniature cell holder um, and the cell that goes inside it. Um, I've got my uh, flashing uh, yellow LED, although obviously we could use um, any other colour LED. And I've got my magnet switch um, along with my magnet. And just be careful because um, obviously it's a magnet and it, it will attract um, all my metal components if I'm not careful. Um, also uh, my conductive thread. Um, and just an ordinary reel uh, a thread in a colour that's going to match um, our flower. The first stage of making our flower uh, is to remove any clips uh, that are on the back. Often they come with these little sort of uh, the pins and the, uh, uh, the clip that opens to attach to your, your garment. We're going to, going to need this space around here to attach our circuit. Um, so when you buy um, this sort of uh, flower, they often are very, very strong in the centre. They have other bits of metal or plastic, so they, although they look very delicate, um, they actually really are quite strong. So choose your flower very carefully, um, making sure that you think you're going to be able to get these, these, these clips off. Um, uh, so all we're going to do is just to snip along the fabric there, um, and then I should just be able to pull the fabric away and then that will allow me just to, to prise this uh, pin away from the, the flower itself. Once you've removed the um, clips from the back, the next stage is to make a hole uh, in the centre of the flower for the LED to go through. So it's just a case of finding the position uh, of the middle of the flower and then using a bradle or um, if this area is quite thick because it it's, has metal plastic in the centre um, to use a drill. So it's just pushing it through just to create a hole. The LED uh, legs are then just pushed through the hole um, to take them through to the back. And the, um, We're going to take the, the negative legs, that's the shorter leg, uh, and uh, twist that into a loop uh, using some round nose pliers. So here I've done some over sewn stitches uh, into the negative leg, leg that I've twisted, so just some nice tight over sewn stitches. Um, and then I'm just going to stitch into the negative side uh, of my uh, cell holder, again using some tight over sewn stitches. So this space is very small. Um, we're going to have our magnet switch over here, so we want to try and keep our cell holder as far away from our magnet switch as I can, because um, we don't want the magnet to be attracted to the metal that's on here, um, as opposed to the, the, the magnet switch that's over there. I've now completed uh, over sewing the uh, leg and the negative side of the cell holder, so I'm just going to twist the positive side of the leg uh, with my round nose pliers. Uh, and push that leg uh, flat down to one side, and just making sure that uh, the two legs in the centre uh, are quite well apart. Because if they're going to, if they touch, then it will short out the circuit. I'm over sewing the um, uh, positive side uh, of the circuit in place, so um, the positive leg, and then we're going to place the uh, uh, magnetic switch um, in this positive circuit just here. We're going to take our thread up to the switch um, and then we're going to start again here and take it around there. Here you can see the finished circuit so I've over sewn 
uh, the uh, other side of the, of the magnetic switch to the positive side on the cell holder. Notice that there are, on the positive and negative side of the cell holder, there are two uh, additional holes. Um, these don't have the silver around the hole, so they are not part of the circuit. Um, which they are just there for stability, so we'll stitch those down in a moment, just using ordinary, uh, uh, just an ordinary thread that matches the colour of the um, uh, of the flower. I've now stitched down these two lo loose sides uh, of the cell holder, which just using ordinary sewing thread. So the final stage is just to insert the cell into the cell holder, uh, pushing it in so that the uh, positive side of the cell uh, is facing the positive side of the cell holder. The last step is just to use the magnet uh, on the magnetic switch to make the uh, the LED light up. Something that you can do if you don't want uh, this area here to be um, uh, visible is to cover it uh, with a piece of fabric. Uh, but you will obviously need to take into account uh, that you need a magnet strong enough to go through the layer of fabric of the product you're putting it onto and the layer of fabric that you cover this up with.